Hi Facebook family, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today I just wanted to um, film a quick video on how I'm preparing to get ready for my daughter's um, going away party, a study abroad party that she's having this weekend. Generally anytime I'm having some type of party or event I take out the the bowls and um, dispensers or whatever that I'm using and I label it and I come up with my menu and based off of my menu um, I'll determine like what I need to buy what I already have things that I'm going to use or um, or, or maybe like some utensils I might need more utensils or whatever so this way I won't be running around the last minute and I can I'll know what I have and so after work or whatever I can go and get other things that I need to um, get um, during the week or weeks um, preceding the event. So right here is my um, menu. It's a preliminary menu and it's some things that I'm thinking of doing, some items that she's requested. So it's like spinach dip, chips, she wants chicken wings. So I was thinking of doing two types of chicken wings, meatballs, um, I ordered her a cake and I got that from um, Sam's. Um, I'm going to make a punch. Um, it's a mango nectar punch. It is so good. I'll share that vi um, recipe with you soon. Um, probably the week that I um, post the video of the party, you'll see that. Um, let me see. I have, she wanted a potato salad. I'm going to have nuts. I'm going to have cheese and crackers and green olives and black olives so um so i took out some things that i thought that i needed and it may change you know it it, it depends so i'm going to go around the table and you can see what i've done so generally i would have i made the um the item cards so i'll have those out so i know what i think that i'm going to serve so like here is potato salad and this is um a platter it's actually it's on it's a stand it's one piece i purchased that a long time ago I actually i i may have purchased that from marshall's maybe two or three years ago but so i'm thinking of using this for the potato salad um so i have the marker here for the potato salad and then right here um, spinach dip I don't have the serving dish that I wanted to use for the spinach dip here but so but it also reminds me that I needed some more some more um, picture frames so I'm gonna get some more of those from Dollar Tree but I need one for the spinach dip and I also need to put out my um, I have a serving platter and it's the it's a chafing dish actually and you put the two tea lights up underneath and I probably will use that for the spinach dip and it's a really really good spinach dip recipe and I will share that with you I have one here for peanuts and this one right here is um, a bowl that I've had like forever probably like 10 years now and you see it is on a stand I'm sorry you starting to stand here but this bowl as I'm making a mess will be for my chicken salad here are two um, I think these are like they're, they're silver plated dishes and I purchased these two or three years ago from Burlington Coat Factory and they were like $4.99 so this one will be with um, some type of cracker maybe like a water um, it's like a water cracker or whatever and this one will probably be like a vegetable cracker have this over here and then this one will probably be like cheese and grapes or something like because I have cheese right here so I might put fruit and cheese because my daughter did want um, some fruit skewers and you know typically I know a lot of people purchase you know fruit and whatever but like doing events at work and sometimes having events at home I notice a lot of people don't eat the fruit so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that so if I do something right here it's probably cheese and grapes or some type of um, a goat cheese 
um, wrapped in walnuts or something like that, I'm going to put right here. But it'll be some type of cheese and cracker. Then you'll have another assorted cracker. So you can use the crackers either with the chicken salad or you can use the chips the, um, with the chicken salad. Then here is one of my chafing dishes. And I purchased this. Oh, my. It had to be about four or five years ago from Garden Ridge see right here which is now at home and it is a three quart stainless steel chafing dish I love this thing it is very nice it was easy to clean and I always get the shine and luster back I love this thing and it was $29.99 at the time I actually need another one and I went to my at home and since they changed the garter ridge certain some things they kept some things they didn't one of the things they did not keep was the chafing dishes and I actually need one more like I said and so I'm looking for another one I've been to um, Macy's and Dillard's and JC Penney and oh my I've gone somewhere else um Bed Bath and Beyond and the one Bed Bath and Beyond one had it was um, what was it? $59.99. So I might end up getting that one. I just not it's not really the one I wanted because I just wanted one silver and this one had gold with it. And it, it really wouldn't flow because the two that I have are just silver. But um we'll see. So anyway, this one, this um chafing dish here, I'm gonna have chicken wings. And like I said, I was planning on doing maybe two types of chicken wings. So maybe one maybe um like a jerk or a teriyaki style wing and the other will be just a regular baked chicken wing and my baked chicken wings are the bomb oh my god so um that will be here and then this one I'm gonna have meatballs and with the meatballs you know you can I'm gonna have dinner rolls and so if you want to you can have like a like a little meatball um, slider that's what you would like to do so I will have that um, as you see, I still have my table set up for the spring, but I just thought I better do this now because tomorrow I'm, I'm coming down to the wire and I really need to know what I needed, if I needed anything else. So right here, this is what I needed the other shaping dish for because I make this special rice. My husband calls it Luana rice and I am going to need a large container for it. So this is um, just one of the regular like sometimes you have they have them at Party City. This one actually didn't come from Party City though. It came from a catering event that was held at my job, and um, they had a whole lot of them left over. And so I was um, I kept this one, and I kept a couple of them. So um, this one would be for my Luana rice in the event that I do not find another chafing dish. So we'll see. Keep your fingers crossed. Then over here is my large, you can use it for a punch bowl. You can use it, you can put like a whole lot of ice in here and use it for, um, use it for like a shrimp and have like the cocktail sauce on the side or whatever. It is beautiful. I purchased this last Christmas. Here's a better view of it before Christmas actually I got it from Marshalls and it was like $39.99 you hear the beeping that's my husband going in and out the door so um, it, uh, please I apologize for that but so I'm going to actually use it just for ice and I have um, a silver um, scoop that will be in here so this will be for the ice and right here is my beverage dispenser right here and this one I'm gonna make my mango peach punch so bye baby um so I'm gonna make my mango peach punch and that will be in here and then I'm also gonna have a sangria the mango peach punch will be for the non-alcoholic drinkers and the people they drink too much alcohol they can switch over to the punch the sangria um, I'm gonna sh show you that recipe too that one is delicious and um, I have another dispenser that I have to get out um, for that but that is what I am doing for this upcoming weekend's party so like I said I just wanted to share this with you quickly and 
hope you enjoyed it and my next video you will see like the final results before the party and I'll may put some clips in there of like during the party or whatever and like I said I will put up the videos for how I make the sangria as well as the spinach dip for this so as I always say whenever you're in town you don't have to call just come on by Mwani's house see you next time bye bye